The sun had set on Karbala, and the darkness of night had engulfed the city. As Hussein Ibn Ali laid martyred on the sands of Karbala, his followers mourned his death. They cried out his name, beating their chests in sorrow, and reciting the verses of poetry in his remembrance. Their tears mixed with the dust of Karbala, watering the earth which had witnessed the greatest tragedy of human history. For centuries, this tradition of mourning has been kept alive by the followers of Imam Hussein. They gather in the month of Muharram, dressed in black, and relive the pain and suffering of the Imam and his family. They recite elegies in his remembrance, and through their tears, they seek solace in the fact that they are not alone in their grief. As a child, Zoya had been introduced to the tradition of Azadari by her mother. She had taken her to the Majlis, where the recitation of elegies took place. She had seen men and women collectively weep over the tragedy of Karbala. Zoya could feel their pain, and she wondered how a tragedy that had occurred centuries ago could still affect so many people. As Zoya grew older, she began to understand the significance of Azadari. She read books and listened to lectures that explained the philosophy behind it. She learned that Azadari wasn't merely a ritual of mourning, it was a call to action. It was a reminder that Hussein Ibn Ali's sacrifice was a stand against tyranny, a call for justice, and a refusal to submit to oppression. For Zoya, Azadari became a way of life. She felt Hussein's spirit guiding her, reminding her always to stand up for what was right. He became her role model and she emulated his example in her everyday life. She volunteered at homeless shelters, participated in rallies for social justice, and donated to charitable causes. She did not see Azadari as a religious practice, but as a philosophy of struggle for social justice and human rights. As Zoya sat in the mosque, listening to the recitation of elegies, she felt a deep connection to Hussein Ibn Ali. She cried for the pain and suffering he had endured. She cried for the injustice that still exists in the world. But amidst the tears, she felt a sense of comfort. She knew that she was not alone in her struggle for justice. She was a part of a community of people that had dedicated themselves to emulating the principles that Hussein Ibn Ali had stood for.